user um, uh, Cossack. Well, we're hoping that um, we'll open Cossack officially in May next year, and uh, surrounded um, well, with the actual program for Cossack, there'll be a whole range of different activities for the whole family to go out, so it'll be quite a, an attractive weekend for people to um, spend out there. This, the man is Kevin Brown. Reverend Kevin Brown was called as pastor to the Pilbara town of Karata late in 1977. He has settled happily into his worker pastor role. The position he holds in the regional administrator's office in Karata is stimulating and challenging. It affords the opportunity to mix with leading citizens, politicians, government and mining officials. The scene from the hill out lookout at East or Intercourse Island depicts something of the geographical attraction of the town of Dampia, some 25 kilometres from Karata. The harbour, with a multitude of islands dotted for miles around, is a haven for fishermen. East Intercourse Island is the shipping head for Hammersley Iron's massive iron ore export program. The ore is railed from Tom Price and Parapadu in the hinterland. Dampia Salt also exports from a nearby island Lynn Brown and the young family have quickly adapted to life in the Pilbara. They fell in love with the countryside and find the town life little different from the average suburb in the city. The climate, well, that's a different matter. It's hot. Air conditioning is to be found as standard equipment now in all of the shops of Karatha and in many houses and cars. The Karatha Baptist Church members rejoiced when Kevin accepted their call. Now, after nearly one year as pastor, there are interesting encouragements to report. The membership has increased to 22. <laughs> Buildings like this, the Shire offices, are an impressive monument to the rapid growth taking place in Karatha. Dampier cannot expand because of the circle of rocky hillocks surrounding it. All the future growth in the population will now take place in Karatha. Shopping facilities are being developed in Karatha. Public buildings have mushroomed in the past two years. Until then, however, most departments were using temporary accommodation. Some of the conditions of work were primitive. But fine new buildings now make for conducive conditions for public servants. About 18 months ago, work commenced on the second cell development of Karatha. The blocks have been sold rapidly and these homes constructed. Many have been built by private residents, which indicates the sense of assurance about the future of Karatha, which many people now display. That MMA jet represents the lifeline for the Pilbara. There are various flights each day to Karatha. At Roban, Bruce Duncan performs a fine piece of Christian ministry with Aboriginal people through his leadership of the Eramugadu enterprise. The Aboriginal people have shown trust and confidence in his leadership, despite many problems. Bruce was a member of our Geraldton Church before moving to Roban. The town is approximately 40 kilometres from Karatha. Bruce has been the secretary of the Roban Christian Fellowship for a number of years. The Karatha Baptist Church occasionally shares in fellowship with the Roban people. Kevin Brown conducts services there from time to time. The Anglican Church building, to this date the only tangible evidence of the establishment of the Christian Church,
through an actual church structure. The AIM, however, have an extensive array of multi-purpose buildings and residences. One of their halls is used for the evening service for the Baptist Church. Kevin Brown is the man the people of Karatha have called to work with them in ministry to this town. He must serve the government for 40 hours per week. He must then endeavour to be a pastor and leader to the Baptist people in this sparse centre. That is a demanding task. But despite the harsh climate and the problems of geographical isolation, there are joys and blessings to any man who will accept such a challenge. For Kevin, these blessings have been real. His secular employment complements in many respects his ministerial involvement. For one who enjoys the outdoors, walks in the rigid grandeur of the Pilbara provide an enjoyable relaxation in a family context. Coming to Karatha has only been made possible, however, through the provision of a home. The Browns enjoy this fine, new, air-conditioned home with separate guest room and bathroom. Through the provision of a home, Kevin has been able to be flexible in the selection of employment because he was not dependent on company housing. Yeah, where are those bolsters Hi. in your hand? Right now, see, one has to go into there. So just put that through. Then you, you put this one in this side. Go on. Put it in. to be seated in this lovely new home. I trust that you've settled in happily. Uh, is that so? Yes, we're very happy to be uh, in the new mansion. It's a first-class house there and uh, in a first-class situation. Then we've really enjoyed uh, being here this time. We enjoy you know, getting the outside going. The manse was a self-help project headed up by one of the church members who was a construction company foreman. He is also a father. There's the third boy. Vince Bransgrove was ably supported by capable handymen, some we see here after the morning service. It's a growth that we're expecting in Karata. Uh, we, as a church, have felt very strongly that we need to look seriously at evangelism. And a few weeks ago, a few of our church members uh, sat down and had a serious talk on evangelism, and I'm going to ask two of them now just to give in a few words uh, some of the things they spoke about at that meeting. One of the first things that we looked at at our meeting was our overall plan of evangelism for the year. Uh, we decided not to take an overall family evangelism but to break it into separate groups uh, designed for the specific ages within our community, and we planned three or four missions to be run throughout the few next year specifically. Uh, in July, September and then later on at the start of next year. We're undertaking a short-term program of evangelism because we want to contact um, all the people in Karatha or as many people as possible. I understand there's about 1,200 houses here and we're undertaking a letter drop which we're going to um, use as a form of informing the people. Um, the main thing is that we'll tell them all about the church in Karatha. Each year we have new members coming into uh, the church and one of our recent uh, arrivals has been Peter and Genevieve Milnes. Uh, we're very pleased to be associated with the Karatha Baptist Church. Actually it's the first church that we've become members of and one of the things we like about it is the participation that uh, all members have and we find that this is a great opportunity to grow as Christians and to help other people. Karatha is a church alive to the opportunities of presenting Christ's message to people in the rugged beauty of the north. Will you pray that the beauty of Jesus will be seen in the lives of pastor and people, commending our Lord Jesus Christ to the residents of Karatha.